In this video, I just want to cover two things. One is the removal of our old refrigerators, and I'll get into that in a second. And then second, prepping the engine room for a massive lithium upgrade uh, that I did an unboxing on a previous video. And I want to cover a little bit about that. So thanks for joining. I look forward to uh, sharing more videos with you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Here's the second project of the day. This whole area and this very useless workbench needs to come out so we can design a whole new area for the house batteries and also all my new electronics. So here's a 3D rendering of this space. Um, just focus on these sections here at the moment. So this is pretty much the picture I was showing you, if you kind of looked at it at this angle. Um, this was the wall where the old inverter was. The old charger was sitting down over here. This is where the old cabinet was, and this is where the batteries are currently sitting. So what I'm trying to do here is maximize the space. So let me move this first. So one of the things I wanted to do, there was no floor section uh, over the stringer. So I definitely want to add this floor section. So that's one thing. I'm also going to be adding a back wall, and I'm going to have to get onto the boat and, and do some templating. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to move the where I'm going to move this wall. Uh, we have water tanks still left, but I want to put some sort of a wall there. Um, I do to the right of that have the through halls that will be replaced, but I'm going to have to figure out uh, access to that. So my current thinking, and I'm trying to work some mock-ups, and next time I'm on the boat, I'll do some more. I'm thinking about actually moving, making another wall and moving it in farther than where the existing batteries are. Uh, that would allow me to move my Victron in inverter uh, over there. Um, it will allow me to move uh, my batteries. Uh, currently, I got two of the uh, Epoch 460 amp hour ones. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can move them here and then also have space for an additional one. Um, I have one big thing I, I have, which just surprised me how big it is, is this Vitronics links. So in my setup, and I don't have a picture now, it's actually three components of that this shape represents. And it's it's my uh, links in, which is basically a big bus bar. Uh, then I have a smart shunt in between, and then I have a links output, which has fuses on it for my inputs and outputs. So I'm thinking right now I may put that on that wall there. Um, I'm going to have battery cutoff switches for each of the batteries. Uh, there are some, these I won't move in place, but these are my class T fuses. Uh, one thing with the Victron, we found out, or sorry, not the Victron, but the Epochs. And, and Alan Jones has done some great videos. So if you haven't seen those, take a shout out and look at his on MV Intrigue. 
but these batteries actually have a, they're not a class T, but they're a large uh, fuse embedded. So we, I may not use these T fuses. These other components over here, uh, one is, and I forget which one's which, I think one is the servo uh, monitoring or the servo communications hub, which I think is that one. And then this is my smart um, Zeus inverter controller, or sorry, uh, alternator external regulator. So just want to give you an idea. So this is a space I'm trying to deal with. Um, I took measurements when I was on the boat, but I think it's really going to take me getting there with some foam, uh, make some templates, bring it back home, and really sort out what I'm going to do. Uh, the intent is, since the boat's 12 hours away, is mock, make up all of these panels, whatever supports I'm going to need here uh, in my house, uh, get all, everything set up, and then bring it and just do an install on the boat. So just want to give you an idea, kind of some of the things I'm doing to try to visualize the space and figure out where everything goes.